Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. So, as you have seen, first, you catches your rabbit. Second, we prep the rabbit. And third, we're going to cook the rabbit. And what we're going to do, well, we're going to go through the old book and do rabbit in cider. Beautiful combination. We're going to do some caramelised apples to go on the top. So what have we got then? We've got this one rabbit as you've seen jointed. We've got the two legs, two shoulders, this beautiful loin. Put that into three. We've got our three apples for caramelising. One bay leaf, some beautiful fresh thyme from my neighbour's garden. I did ask, honest. Uh, some beautiful old school dry cider, old rosy. I've had some nights on that. It's hardcore. I've got a beautiful bunny shaped casserole dish to do it in. I mean, that's just so cool. It's cast iron as well, if you have a look at that. And then in there, I've got some shallots and some red currant jelly. We're going to use a bit of flour, some salt and pepper. We are going to get these covered in seasoned flour and we're going to start browning them off in the pan. Simple as can be. Right, we've got our shoulders, we've got our legs. This beautiful loin here. I'm going to put that very quickly into three with a sharp knife. Whack through it. I mean, that's some beautiful looking meat in it. Can you see that? Gorgeous. So, get ourselves a bag, get ourselves a bit of flour, a couple of tablespoons. Crank in some pepper and some salt. Give it a little shufty and get in our bits of rabbit, our shoulders. Not a lot of meat on the shoulders, but they'll go in anyway. It'll add to the gravy. I'm tempted. To just nip off those little shanks, some miniature shanks are very cool. You spin me right round, baby. Give it a good old shake, rattle, and roll. And there we have our pieces of rabbit ready to brown off in the pan. So into our pan, a decent knob of butter, you know it makes sense, and just some of this fantastic cold press rapeseed oil just to stop that butter burning. And the trick is we want a nice hot pan to begin caramelizing our rabbit. Beautiful that is, beautiful. Right, get old bunnykins. Just tapping off the excess and begin the process. Making sure we get a good even colour. We want a good golden colour. We really want to caramelise this. So don't be scared to leave it a while. That is all the flavour. And it's a case of just letting it do its thing, man. How good does that look? Got some wonderful colour on that. So what we need to do then is get that in our casserole. Obviously get the good bits in first. Tiny, tiny casserole. That's the loin in. Get the legs in. Get 
see if we can get them in. But first of all, in this oil and meat residue, get our shallots. Turn the heat down and just add a bit of colour. Our shallots, nice and soft and a slight caramelisation. Again, building up those flavours, stacking them on top of each other. So, they go in. I'm just going to pour off some of that excess fat. Just want to leave the beautiful meaty goodness in the bottom. I'm going to whack up the heat and get my rough rider in. That'll help deglaze the pan, bring all that up off the bottom. Wonderful. So, till it's just covering the rabbit. You know what, it's almost professional, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Just give that a little jiggery pokery. Then I'm going to put in sprigs of thyme and my bay leaf. So I've got my oven set to 140 because I want this to do really, really slow. So we're going to get our lid in and we're going to check it after an hour. Now we want this fork tender. The worst thing about rabbits, you know, is especially if you get an old one and you've gone through all this and you eat it without checking it and it's tough, you know, it ruins the dish. So we like to check it on the SRP after an hour. If it needs a bit more, we give it a bit more. But as soon as the point of a knife goes easily through that meat, we are on. Right, say goodbye to Bunnykins. How cool is that? And we'll see it shortly. Okay then, so this was in, in the end for an hour and a half. Just took the lid off. You can see how tender this rabbit is. Look at it yielding off the bone. And that is how you want it. So, we're just gonna take the shallots and the meat out. Then we're gonna reduce that sauce down a touch. I think that should all be liquor. Ooh, no, look, look at that. Mm. Mm, right there. We got our sauce coming up to heat, starting to reduce. Next, we want to caramelize our apples. I've had them in a bit of water and lemon juice to stop them going brown. Next, I'm just going to put into slices. I'll go that way. So, thing is you don't want them too thin because they break as you try to lift them. So I'll just go like that. Very simple, you cannot beat a caramelised apple slice. So into my sauce, I'm just going to put in a couple of teaspoons of the red currant jelly, stir it until it dissolves. You can thicken this with a bit of corn flour. Or, my favourite, just add a couple of gravy granules, there is nothing wrong with that. You're not making a gravy, you're just using it as a thickening agent. Next, we want some butter in our pan. Just like that. Some sugar on the apples. Give it a... Turn around the block. Got to keep an eye on this. Then we just get our apples in. I can see this is a bit hot, this pan. This on a big burner. Take the sting out of it. Get these in until they're nice and caramelised. So 
So just before we serve up then, warming that rabbit back up in that lovely, lovely sauce. The rabbit is virtually falling off the bone. It couldn't be any better. Let's try that. Mmm. I see the little red currant flecks floating in there. That is something else. It's absolutely beautiful. So that is ready to take to the table. Let's give it a bit of that and a bit of that. That rabbit is cooked to absolute perfection and I will show you what I mean. Let's find, where is it, a shoulder predominantly a very very tough piece move up to one side need to try a bit of that sauce first again it's beautiful serve there with just a little bowl of bubble and squeak okay rabbit as bad press for being tough just watch this with a spoon pulling it away from the bone just look how juicy that is. Hey, just look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Okay then my friends, I am gonna take this to the table and share it. Mm. Not sure I've had that bit. It's just a beautiful dish. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe where my face comes up down here. Also find me on all my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at the Scott Reed Project. And please do, if you want to share the love and help my little channel along, do check out my Patreon page. Mm. But I want to get this down my neck. I can look out my window and I can see bunnies about so, you know, this is a beautiful thing. This is the start of something good. Right, on that note, I'm going to chow down. All the best.